funny motherfuckers here. I'd like to say what's up, guy. It's our way to say hi. In February, it is good to know a plow guy. It is shaped like a key. Also, where I like to ski. Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from. What's up, diggers? My diggers. So I went out today and I hit a, um, a sugar shack property slash hayfields that has been pounded to death by a local uh, metal detecting club over the years. So pickings were slim, but I ventured across the street, um, which ended up being more promising and found some pretty cool stuff. So I wanted to show you guys my new t-shirt, detectingunderground.com. Pretty cool, my buddies over there. Um, Sovereign and Salt Shaker, they uh, hooked me up with a, with a free t-shirt and I told them that I would stick it in the video for them. So there it is. Let's go see my finds and have some fun. What's up my diggers? So I got a new permission. Um, it's actually the sugar shack is the, uh, the barn over there the house is on the other side the sugar shack is back here there's another barn otherwise it's just sort of hay fields well I apologize for the lighting that seems my overhead light no longer works so I gotta get some bulbs for it so over at the the sugar shack side of the property um, like I said, the, the, the pickings were slim. There wasn't a lot. Um, so let's see. All this was from there. And like I said, the, the, the New Hampshire Metal Detecting Club goes there every year. So it's pretty much picked clean. These are all paper side shotgun shells. I throw the plastic side ones away. I don't feel that they're old enough to keep. But um, these are pretty cool to find. They ring up as a solid 66 on the VDI of the gold bug. Dag nabbit! Thought I had me an Indian head. Give me about uh, between 55 and 65 um, shotgun shell, but she was deep. She was, she was all the way to the bottom. Scooped out that much. But, alas. Uh, this one come out looking like gold, but I think it's just anodized aluminum, and it's, I don't know, it's some kind of screw of some sort. There ought to be a law against stuff like this. I thought I had a really good gold gilded button. It's got beautiful color to it, but alas, it is some sort of a screw. I don't know why it's got a waffle head on it like that. And it was pretty deep about five inches so maybe it's copper or brass probably brass or anodized aluminum more likely I haven't been digging I haven't been getting much a lot of iron a lot of small iron in the section I was in a uh, nice beautiful looking square nail I was getting this thing it was in the hole like this and I was getting a like a 23 33 when I swept right over the nail but right over here I was getting a really strong 80s to 90 signal right there and I could even pinpoint on it and sure enough it was a halo because as soon as I dug my plug right here the only signal I got was this clunker in the sidewall so but that helps age the property square nails square nails are very old so then went across the street uh, to what used to be some sort of farm I'm assuming and across the street I found that which is the crimp end off of a belt. I don't know if it's any old or not. It's nothing special. Another one of those horse rivet tacks. All right, so I got a good signal here, but I figured, hey, since I don't dig good stuff, <laughs> why not guarantee it by showing everybody what it is? All right, about five inches down, giving me a mixed signal between 
55 and 70. Is this brass rivet? Horse tack? Some kind. Cool. Um, this thing's pretty cool. It's lead. And it's obviously a medieval axe head for um, squirrels or smurfs. I'm not sure. There wasn't a lot of mushrooms out there, so maybe it wasn't smurfs. Probably just squirrels. I don't know how good a lead axe is, but I guess when you're a squirrel, you know, it does the trick. Um, one heart stopper. Okay. Last good signal was a rusty nail. This one's pretty deep as well. There's no other iron around it. So guess what I'm hoping for? Guess what I'll probably find? Yeah. Oh my god, I think I peed a little. <laughs> uh, I saw that in the hole like that and I thought for sure I had another half dollar. I was so excited. It didn't ring up right though. It's a metal tag off of uh, Climbing Roses, which was this. Of course, I dug it and that was what I saw. You know, and I got excited. It looked like I had another silver half dollar. It is a rose bush tag. Um, a grommet from a tarp. A beautiful green thumbtack. Those are nice. The green ones are hard to find. Um, and then probably the best of it, across the street, before I went back, I dug this. Well, this signal was bouncing between uh, like 55 and 66, somewhere in that neighborhood. And I just flipped the plug open. And damn, if that don't look like the impression of a coin. Uh, we'll take it live from here, folks. Not there. I might actually have something cool. Yeah, it's a coin. It is. It's a nickel. Huh, a Jefferson nickel. All right. How old you be? Let me clean it up a bit more. I'll get right back to you. 64 canickel. And it looks like it's been in there since 1964, too. This thing is beat up. But it's still got really high ridges and everything, so it's not worn down much. It's just rotten. Um, this thing is pretty cool. Thought I had me a ring for a second. I don't know if it's a... Uh, like a... animal tag off of like a turkey's leg. You know? I'm not sure. I can't quite read the lettering all the way. I'll clean it up and... Uh, let you know more. I gotta get out of here. It's starting to rain. So, away we go, my diggers. Swing beep dig. This is a poultry tag off of most likely a chicken. And it says New Hampshire dash US official Polorum. And I looked up Polorum and there's like a BE right there. And then a, I'm guessing like a serial number. Uh, eight, six, seven, five, maybe. But I looked up pylorum, and pylorum is a, a poultry disease that um, it's like uh, it's not eggs and raw chicken get salmonella, and live chickens get pylorum, and it can taint the eggs and, and kill your birds. And then probably the best of it. All right, well, I dug that button right over here somewhere. I dug a half a horseshoe over there somewhere. And then right here, I got one of those promising signals again. Kind of all over the place, but staying between 60 and 70 for the most part. Let's see what it is. I'll be right back. At uh, about six inches down, is this old button. It's got some lettering on it too. I'm going to be able to decipher some words. Probably says gold gilt or something. Typically what they say. I don't believe there's a pattern on it. 
Nope. I'll clean it up better and show you at the wrap up. It's a beauty. There's this old 1800s plain flat shirt button. And I believe the, the lettering says treble or triple, treble, treble, gilt, or something like that. Oh, and a half a horseshoe with the nail still in it. Wore that sucker right down. And that's about it. Some odds and ends. Again, this one was sitting straight in the hole, straight up and down, so I couldn't really hit the signal for the steel itself, but it cast a beautiful halo over here, which was like a 78-83, so I dug it, but that's what it was. Another square nail. I'll be back to that property. I got a, a handful of 22 rounds too that whoops must have sunk to the bottom of my bucket my my pouch so I didn't get I didn't bring them home but there it is thanks for watching swing beep dig so I moved across the street that's the old farm I was at over there sorry the focus don't work good and this used to be I guess was a house here I just took this, gave me an 88 on a Gold Bug Pro. It's got a weird back to it. I don't know if it's a cufflink or a dangly earring. But that looks like gold gilt to me. Pretty cool. It was deep too. I mean, this little tiny thing was down at the bottom of that hole, and that's a good 6 8 inches. That's cool. I can't tell if there's any markings on it, I don't see anything. I mean, it's not gold. It's either plated or gilt. Because everything else that's shining through is green. So, cool.